What's up guys, Gary here with self.dev. Today we are gonna learn how to install Kali Linux on a flash drive and then boot from that flash drive. If you don't know, Kali Linux is a Linux distribution used for digital forensics and penetration testing. So cool stuff like that. First thing we're gonna do, make sure you got your flash drive. You have to have at least a five gigabyte flash drive, eight gigabytes to work comfortably. Uh, this is a 32, get, uh, 32 gigabyte flash drive. It was only like 14 bucks at Walmart. so. I mean, why not? Uh, also, we are going to be basically like reformatting the flash drive, so anything that's on there going to be deleted. So make sure it's a clean flash drive. All right, what we're going to do? We're going to go to cali.org/downloads. I'll have a link in the description, and then right here, we're going to download either the 64-bit or the 32-bit version of Kali Linux. Just click on HTTP there. If you don't know what version you have of Windows, if you go down here, type in about, and then go to about your PC, this will pop up. And then right here, system type 64-bit uh, operating system. So there's that. Um, but yeah, once you decided which one you need, just click HTTP and then that'll download it. Next, we're gonna go to Rufus.ie. I'll have a link for that as well in the description. If you go down, whoop, we go down to download. We'll just click on Rufus 3.5 right here, and that'll download it for us. Might be a different version depending on when you watch this video, but it should still be the same software. If you've got it downloaded, it should have Kali Linux right there and then rufus3.5.exe. Just double click on Rufus to launch it. Uh, should, I think it should run an installation first, but after that's done, it should pop up like this. So, what we're gonna change, the first one there, it says device. Click on that, make sure you select your flash drive. And then right here, we're gonna click on select, and we will select the Linux we downloaded, click on open, and it should populate right here for us. That's all we're gonna change. And then down here, we're gonna click on start. We're gonna click on write in DD image mode, and then we're gonna click okay. I'm not gonna do it, because I've already got it installed on my flash drive, but after that, I think another box should pop up, just click okay, and then it should start installing on your flash drive. Should be like a green bar that comes across here and it'll tell you when it's done. When it's done, your flash drive should look something like this. You probably won't have the boot text log file, you'll just have the boot and the EFI file. So that means that you've got it installed on the flash drive. Now what we're gonna do, we need to get into the advanced options menu so we can boot from the flash drive. If you've got Windows 10, you're just gonna hold down Shift and then you're gonna go down to the little Windows icon here click on power, click on restart while you're holding down shift. And this will get us into the advanced options menu. If this doesn't work for you, try it again. Make sure you're holding down shift the entire time. If that doesn't work, you might have the, an older version of Windows where you have to type F, you have to basically hit on F8 a lot while you're restarting the computer and it should pull it up. Now that we've got it up, we're going to go to user device, go to our flash drive and press enter. If it gives you any kind of safe mode boot up error, look in the description. I will have a timestamp you can jump to that'll show you how to fix that issue. Otherwise it should bring up the launch screen for Kali Linux, but it'll run the startup scripts here. We'll give it a sec. Boom, then Kali Linux pops up for us. And if you go to the applications here on the top left, got all the cool pre-installed stuff. And you've got Kali Linux, so congrats, there you go. Let me know if you have any trouble with it in the comments below, and I will see you next time, peace.
First off, go ahead and restart your computer, holding down shift to get back to the uh, advanced options menu, I guess. And then we're going to go down to troubleshoot, click on advanced options, go over to UEFI firmware settings, and then restart. And this will launch us into another menu, yeah, another menu where we can turn off the safe boot up version. There we go. So now what we're going to do, navigate with the arrow keys, go right, down, 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 hit enter, and it'll let you turn on or off secure boot mode. So we can disable it, and then we will just click on F10 to save and exit. Say yes to save the changes. And now if you restart the computer again, hold down shift and follow the process earlier, it'll let you boot with Kali Linux. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the description below and I will see you later. Peace.